All right, it is. <laughs> Today is Sunday. We are headed out to try and get some fresh air and take another attempt at the beach. In my last vlog, we tried to go to the beach and it just was so busy and we didn't want to go around the crowds and all of the people, so we avoided it. And today we're gonna try it again. It is super early. Beaches here, some of them close at 10 in the morning and it is almost nine. Don't mind our low sounds in the back, but it's almost nine. So we're gonna try and go to the beach and see if we can just walk a little bit. First stop. No, Bubba, don't get upset, it's okay. First, okay. I was gonna try and get a vlog clip, but Arlo has a lot to say right now. Let's get rolling. He likes the movement. He does. If the car is not moving, Arlo is not happy. Do you see there's people like hanging out in their chairs yeah. out here in the parking lot? Yeah, it seems like a random spot. All right, it's a little more quiet now. We just got into Laguna. We found some street parking. So we are going to get out and walk down. Right here. I'll get Arlo out first too for you. Cool, thanks. I have to get my carrier too. You are happy. Yeah. I think there's like pathways down. See the water over here. My hair's looking a little crazy. Finally able to take advantage of the beach. Are we walking through? Uh, you can't get through. I was gonna say I just want to go over there and get like more videos or something like that, but yeah, maybe with the baby on my chest I shouldn't. No, probably not. Christian, say hi! What do you think, Papa? You don't want me to sit with you? He's like, I got an ocean view, you're in the way. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Now is the part where I nurse the baby in the car and we finish breakfast. That was such a nice beach outing. It was, it was a lot of fun. And not too busy, not crowded at all. Christian was so happy to see the water again. And get to run a little bit. He got to run, because the neighborhood walks we've been taking, he's always in the stroller, so today was really nice because he got to actually like run in some open area and there weren't, like we kept a safe distance from everybody. Felt really good. Yesterday was a failed attempt. We tried like three different beaches yesterday and they all were just packed with people. So today it felt good that we were able to get down to the water early and it's still, it's only 10.30 in the morning. It's just like going to town. I just got done nursing Arlo in the car and picked him up. <laughs> I started patting his back to burp him and it was like, a wet sound and my hand is dirty now so it's real life <laughs> felt like I or it sounded like I was smacking a puddle of water on the ground <laughs> is that funny Christian so we just checked the mail and it was full of snacks so I figured I would show you what we got so first I have a huge bud okay hold on Okay, I'll look at the more. Yeah, more. He says the word more with an accent. He's always like, more. I'm currently sitting on the floor with Arlo <laughs> strapped to me because more. this is the only way he'll be happy and calm today. It's lit, it's... 
Okay, luckily Jordan came down from his meeting like as soon as I was trying to film that. But today has just been one of those days where Arlo is fussy no matter what. It, and if I'm not holding him, he's fussy. It's literally the second I set him down, he wakes up, he gets cranky. He's not happy if Jordan's holding him. He's not happy if he's in a swing. He's not happy if he's in his lounger. He's only happy if mama is holding him, which I am very flattered about but he's also very tiring. So I've been putting him in this carrier a couple times today because it, it seems to get him comfortable enough to sleep. Yeah, he, I, I, you know, I get it. He's a newborn. He just wants to be really close to me, but it is making it hard to do anything today. So anyways, I figured I'd show you the snacks we got. So first I got a huge daily harvest box like this thing is seriously the size of me so i talked in my last vlog about how i started getting daily harvest and i love it for the smoothies and just the convenience not sponsored i spent a lot of my own money on them so this is my second month doing it and i get a month's supply worth so last time i got 24 like meal things you get to pick items i got 24 items this time i got 26 um, because I went through them rather quickly last time. So I got a bunch of these like smoothie cups. I tried to do more fruity ones this time because I learned last time that that's what I gravitate most towards. This one's really good. So I got more of those cups and then I got a few of these oat bowls as well. This one looked really good. This is like a cherry and dark chocolate. I like to even make lactation cookies with these too. And then some matcha too. Don't worry, my nails are a work in progress. I also have self tanner not properly put on. Then the other snacks I got were, I got two packs of these Smart Sweets on Amazon. We've been hooked on these as a family recently because they're like healthy gummies. Um, I actually heard of these first from Whitney Simmons and then a couple bloggers that I follow on Instagram have also been promoting them. They've done a bunch of sponsorships with people and everything. Again, I bought these with my own money, but I love them. I'll eat like a bag at a time and they're like 80 to 100 calories each, but they have 100% of your fiber in them for the most part. This one has 79% of your fiber so depending on the well so depending on what flavor you get that you know will change things a little bit but they have fiber in them they only have three grams of sugar per bag they're so good and then Christian will snack on them too I get these variety packs with a bunch of different flavors on Amazon and I like them because Christian can snack on them um, I don't give him the peach rings because they're like kind of gooey but I give him the gummy bears and then he's not getting a lot of sugar they have less sugar than like the Annie's bunny fruit snacks so I feel better about him having them um, and then these are some little chocolate I've been looking for like healthy snack alternatives. So these are like mini chocolate chip cookies by the brand High Key. They're good. We just tried a couple of them, but they're low carb and they're like keto approved if you do something like that. For me, I just like the fact that they're little bite-sized cookies that have less fat, but will give me a little bit of my sweet tooth. Um, every night after I have dinner, I crave something sweet. And lately I've been having Hershey Kisses. I've been having like two Hershey Kisses every night after dinner. Um, and then this morning I just threw the whole bag out because I feel like it is stunting my progress health wise. So maybe something like this will be a healthier alternative. I don't know, we'll see. This is what they look like though. Just like little chocolate chip cookies. They're really good. I got a couple of their flatbreads too from Daily Harvest. So this is artichoke spinach and kale and coriander. They're both really good. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm sitting down to do my skincare and I figured I would show you what I've been doing lately just because like I mentioned in one of my recent vlogs, I've really been trying to use this time at home during the quarantine and postpartum and everything to just be like as healthy as I can in every kind of way. And my skincare has been one of those things I've been focusing on that I just feel like I never really cared about before. And this year I'm turning 30 and I just had my second baby and I'm stuck at home all the time. So I'm just just focused on taking care of my skin the best way I can you know what I'm saying but yeah I found some products recently that I really love so I figured I would just show you sort of my everyday 
morning routine, even though it's like 4.30 in the afternoon right now. I'm pretty sure those are markers under the bathroom sink, of course. I'm also gonna put this headband on just to keep it, keep my hair out of my face. So I did wash my face in the shower. I feel like somewhere I heard you're not supposed to do that, but I just prefer to do that. So I wash my face in the shower. Um, and then recently I picked up this, I think it's Ren Clean Skincare. I saw Alex Garza recommended this toner and I was in need of a new toner. And so when I saw her recommendation, I decided to try it and I really like it. It's supposed to be like an exfoliating toner and then it gives you kind of a nice glow. I like it because it has this little pump. So I just do, like a couple of pumps. I'm just gonna use my viewfinder to do this. It smells really good too. Um, and I feel like you get a lot of product. Ooh, the lighting, hello. I've got like this discoloration here, which I'm assuming is self tanner. So awesome. But yeah, whew, I love that. It just like leaves my skin feeling really clean and toned and awake. Um, and then after that I use a serum. So I've always used a serum at night when I go to bed, but recently I added in like a daytime serum too. So this is the, I have no idea how to pronounce this actually. Ole Hendrick, Henriksen? Is it Ole? I think it is. But this is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I saw this had really good reviews and I just was looking to try a new um, daytime serum. It has vitamin C, PHAs, hyaluronic acid, um, and I feel like it again really like wakens up my skin. It smells like oranges. It smells so good and it leaves a nice glow. I feel like, I feel like these two products together give me like such a glow first thing in the morning and help my skin feel really ready for the day. Alrighty. And then I picked up a new moisturizer recently. I just used up all of mine. And so during the Sephora sale, I got this um, Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream by Fresh. This again had really good reviews. And I've also, my sister-in-law used this, I think, and really liked it. I like it as well. It's really thick. Like I don't typically go for a moisturizer or like a daytime face cream that's this. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's a face cream, not just a moisturizer, but it is super thick so i really don't need much the first time i used it i like took way too much and it made my face feel super greasy um so i'm only using like that much and then what i like to do is i use this tan Lux self tanning face drops which you've probably heard everybody and their mom talk about but they really are that good <laughs> mix it in with my moisturizer i don't do this every day but today i'm not doing makeup so I'm putting some of it on, but this gives such a nice deep tan on my face. I need to get the body one because I just love like the color it gives my face and it stays for a couple days too. So sometimes I'll put it in with my nighttime cream and sometimes I'll put it in with my morning cream. It just depends on what my schedule is looking like. Oh, I forgot to put this on before my moisturizer, but this is like an eye serum from Clinique. I just have this like little sample, but it's their moisture surge like eye gel. And I really like the effect it gives. I feel like it tightens up a lot and it really helps my under eyes feel moisturized but like tight too. So this morning I woke up feeling so sick. I told Jordan I felt like I was hungover. Like I felt like I got hit by a bus. I like could not get off the couch. I just was so tired and I had been having pain in my right breast since yesterday. Like both in my breast and the nipple. It was like raw. And then this morning I woke up and I had like redness spread all through it. And I was like, shoot, I think I have mastitis. So I called my doctor's office and they were like, well, it's Memorial Day weekend. So we're closed through Tuesday. So you either need to go to urgent care or tough it out. And the pain was pretty bad. So I decided to go to urgent care and I did have mastitis or I do. And I got antibiotics and now I'm on them. But it has been a morning, let me tell you. And like I said, 4 30 in the afternoon and then while i've been on quarantine i've really been focused on trying to get my eyelashes healthy so you guys probably know i had eyelash extensions for a year and a half and when all this stuff happened they clearly fell off i wasn't able to get them filled and it's like an insecurity of mine i'm not used to seeing my eyes so bare my natural lashes and my brows are like very blonde so i feel like when i don't have anything on either one of them i just look like bald in my face um but when my eyelash extensions came off, my lashes were so damaged. Like people say lash extensions don't damage your lashes. 
they do even if you have the best application i have like the best girl that does them she's super careful but like they're just bound to damage them when you have them on for that long so when my eyelash extensions came off my lash my lashes on top were shorter than my lashes on bottom and they just stuck straight they looked like somebody had like lit them on fire and they had i don't know fizzled back so i've been using a serum lately i got a couple different products that i've been using um but these are both from grande lash i actually have their like grande lips lip gloss as well that i really like it's like a plumping lip gloss and it's pretty basic but i just like it a lot but these two products for lashes i've been using both of them together every single morning and I notice a difference like my lashes have already grown out a good amount and now they're longer than the bottom lashes thank god um so this is a lash enhancing serum I really should have like a handheld mirror for this it does sting a little bit I'm not gonna lie and when I first started using it I would notice like a little purple line on my eyelid but it doesn't do that anymore um but then what I use with it is this grande repair this is a leave-in lash conditioner and it's just like a clear, basically a clear mascara and it's supposed to make your lashes really soft. So I use both of those together. And then when I do put mascara on, I also have a primer that I've been using that will also condition, um, but I'm not gonna do mascara today. I'm not gonna do make, like full makeup. But yeah, so if you are also a recovering lashaholic, I would highly recommend both of these. You can get them at Sephora and I'll have them linked down below. Um, I've also heard Rodan and Fields is like amazing. So their lash serum, everybody knows it's bomb. So it's just expensive. <laughs> so I'm thinking eventually I'll get that, but I'm just struggling to pull the trigger on it, you know, but I probably will. I also picked up a couple more products from Tula. So I use their face filter this they're like blurring and moisturizing primer because this is tinted and i love it that's what i'm gonna put on today i love it for no makeup days but then recently i also picked up this is their brighten up smoothing primer gel because i wanted one of their primers to use on days when i do wear foundation i'll use this one underneath foundation as well but i'd rather save it for days when i'm doing no makeup they just came out with this bigger size so i got the bigger size too um but i've heard that this like primer is awesome from them too and i really like tula Ooh, it looks like silicone-y oh, i cannot wait to play with that so i'm gonna save that um but then when i placed my tula order i also got this like rose glow cooling and brightening eye balm i feel like i've seen so many bloggers talk about this and i do really like it you basically just run it under your eyes and it really is cooling i will feel this for like a little while after i wear it too and i've been using it like on my lips and i've been doing it on my nose and like up here and basically anywhere i would want highlight kind of gives me that it's like white lips but um it really does have like a nice cooling effect and yeah, it gives like such a good glow i don't know if you can see in this lighting but i really like this this one too so i'm glad i picked that up alrighty and then like i mentioned i'm gonna use this tinted primer from tula sort of as like my foundation for the day since i'm not doing makeup then i really don't even need to put this on because we're not going anywhere or doing anything or filming content but i just figured it would kind of wrap up this little skincare routine see how much color it adds like it's crazy it's so nice like if you have to run to the store or you're just like you want something to feel a little put together, but you don't want full get up. This stuff is perfect. And it really like blurs and it really covers too, um, even though it's just a primer. And I feel like it keeps my makeup on too. Then I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow, ooh, a little sparkle and shine. <laughs> the Benefit Gimme Brow for my brows. Like I mentioned, when they're naked like this, I feel naked as a human being. So I like this gel because it just fills them in and it gives color. This lighting is kind of like washing out the second half of my eyebrow. I'm one of those people that my eyebrows are so light that if I don't have anything on them, it basically looks like I only have half an eyebrow. Like it kind of like stops here. So if I'm doing anything, I just need this gel. And like you can see it fills it in so much. Like I don't even probably so messy i can't really see what i'm doing i don't even need to fill them in at all they're just they've got color and they look full now so 
You guys are probably gonna watch this and be like, Olivia, you should have used a mirror. So yeah, days when I don't do makeup, I will use this tinted primer with the gimme brow and it's like, I'm good to go, that's all I need. And then I'm just using a Burt's Bees like tinted chapstick for a little color on my lips. This stuff makes it look like you're wearing lipstick when you're not at all. So these three together are bomb. And then everything underneath it just helps my skin feel extra hydrated and nice too. It feels so good to do all of that and to get a good shower in, especially after being at urgent care this morning. Like I really did not want to go to urgent care in this climate, but um, I also didn't want to sit here in pain and wait until Tuesday or have the infection get worse. All right, so I think that's gonna conclude today's vlog. I'm gonna go get my boys downstairs. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have some fun things we're gonna do this weekend, so those will be in the next vlog you see. I'm having fun just like getting these daily vlogs out and like sort of filming the normal stuff. You guys gave me such great feedback on the one vlog I did about like a realistic day in the life and I'm so appreciative that you guys liked that because I was feeling like I couldn't really film or do anything on days when we're not doing anything fun. So um, I'm glad that you guys like that kind of thing and you wanna see it because I will definitely continue to do that too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, bye.